What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater, and I am out here on another home theater project. I'm gonna take you guys through the system and show you exactly the type of quality you can expect, as well as answer some questions regarding the system, and uh, kind of just give you a quick overview and a little demo, if we're lucky. If you guys aren't one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. All right, let's go check it out. Okay guys, just got up here to the theater room and I'm gonna take you through this entire room and show you exactly what's going on. If you're looking for a budget solution, this is it. Okay, so let's talk about projection first. We got a Epson Pro Cinema 4050. You guys know there is no better value projector than this. $23.99. Comes with an extra bulb, comes with a mount, comes with a three year warranty, and it's e shift 4K. So if you're getting into 4K but don't have the money for native, this is it. This is what you need right here. Got an HDMI cable running down to our termination location here at the front of the room. We're running a massive 120 inch high contrast gray material from Dragonfly. You know, I love this combo right here. This projector and screen is just an insane value. About three grand and you got a killer combo. As far as uh, the amplification and processing, we're just using the Denon S. 750H. You guys know I use a lot of Denon products and a lot of it has to do with the HEOS capability. The fact that they can expand off of this into whole house audio throughout the entire home. If you haven't seen HEOS or aren't familiar with it, make sure to type that into my channel as well. I've got a lot of videos about HEOS and how it works in a real life uh, situation. We got the spare lamp right here. Apple TV 4K. Now let's talk about the speakers. This is the Klipsch Reference Premier RP4 400C. 400C, can't beat it. 300 bucks retail. An incredible speaker. It has the uh, titanium dome tweeter and the Traxic horn that uh, Klipsch is really known for. And then what we did, we put a, a lot of money on the budget into this center speaker because that's where the dialogue comes from. The dialogue, the people talking is one of the most important things in the system. You wanna make sure that you can clearly hear what they're saying. If you can't hear what they're saying, what's the point, right? So we used a nicer center speaker, the reference premiere line, so you get that clarity in the dialogue. And then for the rest of the system, we just did the custom series, the CS16Ws and CS16Cs in ceilings. This is a 7.1 system, so let me show you those. You got your front left, your front right, you got your surround left, your surround right, and then your rear left and right in the ceiling. And the reason that those aren't down at your level is because of the door back here. So, I mean, those, those speakers are about 100 bucks, 140 bucks each. So you're getting the Klipsch name, you're getting a lifetime warranty with them, uh, but it's more on the basic side. But I mean, for the budget, you guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna play a demo. I think it's a great option. We paired that together with not the SPL series, but the reference, the R120SW from Klipsch. And uh, this is definitely uh, one step down, but great value, good price right now on that guy. So that's about it. We didn't, we didn't do a universal remote in here. I just kept it real basic. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, play a demo. Everything is starting now. So whenever you don't have a universal remote, you're basically powering on the projector, powering on the amp, turning it to the right input. We're gonna hit media player. And then we need the Apple TV remote. Typically speaking, guys, you really don't wanna put stuff on top of your sub. It'll rattle, but happy wife, happy life. I know how it goes. I got the movie posters up here. The Avengers. What else we got? Jurassic World. Harry Potter. Infinity War. Nice. Cool. All right. So now we got our Apple TV fired up. You can see the projector is still warming up. It's a little dim right now. I actually have a dimmer on the wall here. So let's go ahead and turn it down. This is not an ALR screen, but it definitely performs pretty well in rooms that have some ambient light. I mean, look at this door wide open like that. 
Okay, uh, first things first, I'm just gonna put on a video demo for you guys. Turn the lights off so that you can see the image quality you can expect out of the Epson 4050 with the Dragonfly high contrast gray material. Great black levels, incredible clarity, colors popping, vibrant. Can you beat it? I don't think so. I've shot out the BenQs, Optimas, all those, and uh, had some returns on them. These Epsons are built to perform. Look at this. Let's look at the clarity. It's incredible. And this is E-Shift. E-Shift 4K means that it's fake 4K, essentially. It's flashing the picture four times at a rate so fast you don't really see that it's doing that. The human eye can't detect it, so it's creating a faux 4K picture. Put a little light in the room. You can see what it looks like. Again, this doesn't perform bad with some ambient light, which is nice because you can sit up here with the boys and watch some football, play some games, and it's gonna be nice and nice and bright. Okay, you guys get the idea. Um, I'm kind of tight on time here, so I'm gonna cut the video and we're gonna go over to a quick little audio demo. some of the boys still want to fight. Washington disagrees. Washington is wrong. But if you want to bow out, that was your chance. You don't want to fly, sir. If you know that you came through, the people. Not too shabby. You guys left to uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments, but for a budget system, this thing rocks. Uh, like I said, whenever I was kind of reviewing the products, I think a couple of the key things that are still making this feel really cinematic and the clarity and the dialogue is the fact that we went with a pretty nice center speaker, at least the reference premiere line, and then we went with a nice 12 inch sub. Those two things are pretty key. The, the sub is your deep low frequency bass. You're going to, you know, when the explosions go off and, you know, things like that, you're going to feel like you're at the theater. But we didn't want to go with a super low end center speaker because we wanted clarity in our dialogue. Whereas the custom series, these other speakers around me aren't quite as important. It's not that they're not important. It's just not as many effects you got to think the center speaker the main character speaking the entire time uh through primarily through that speaker as well as a lot of other things so you want that come through really clear because if you can't hear the dialogue what's the point um the other speakers you're just hearing gunshots going off the plane rushing past you things like that um, and then, you know, the, the processor, we went with a little more entry level processor, but it's still not bottom of the barrel. It's, it's going to provide adequate power to the speakers as well as process it. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the system at this price point. It, uh, looks really good. Sounds really good. If you guys are interested in purchasing a system of your own for your theater room and you don't know what to do, uh, give us a call. We have free design service. We'll help you set it up. You give us all your info, send us over some pictures of the room and we'll create a system based on your space and your budget. We really appreciate y'all support. It means the world to us. We do have a low price guarantee and nationwide free shipping as well as an extensive installer network that we're building up throughout the country and can't do it without you guys. It means the world to me. If you aren't one of our subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.